Boxing King Media in association with Box World. Delighted to be joined by Ziad Al Mayouf. Ziad, as I just said, we've done Saudi, we've done England, and we're now in Poland. Yeah, we're in Poland. You know, this is what dreams are made of. You never get used to your dreams coming true, your prayers getting answered, and now we're here doing it in Poland on such a huge card. And uh, I'm ready to, to show people what I have, what I got, make that statement. Definitely so. It's worth mentioning you, you must be one of the most blessed fighters ever because uh, first time we spoke it was on the Usyk Joshua undercard. Mm -hmm. No, was it Jake Paul Tommy Fury? I think. First time we spoke, yeah, Jake Paul Tommy Fury. I made my debut on Usyk Joshua, yeah. That's it. And then we had the, the show in London, the press conference there in London, and then uh, now we're in Poland for another humongous fight, Usyk Dubois. Um, just tell me, are you soaking all this up because you sat there like you're fighting at your call? You know, the, the, the whole idea of it is to just have that calmness in the chaos and that's what at the end brings the delivery of I am blessed to do all of this I am humbled by all of it and that's why I'm just so calm in the midst of all those chaotic ideas you know the dreams are coming true and I have to just earn it every single day so I am worthy of it every single day and uh, thank God Alhamdulillah for everything I have and Alhamdulillah for everything I will get and Alhamdulillah for all the stuff that I won't get. You know, I'm just so ready for anything to happen and my job is to not wish for what I want but to wish to adapt for what is written. I love that, I love that. And I was gonna, you beat me too, I was gonna say, I wonder what, how many lines you're gonna drop for me today and <laughs> you're already bringing them out. Um, you know, what I find fascinating is, uh, again, you take it, uh, everything in your stride, you're fighting in different countries on huge uh, cards uh, and you're being thrown into fights that you probably shouldn't be having, you know, if I be realistic, because obviously, like you told me before, you've not had no amateur experience, so you, you, you're very raw, but you showed guts, you showed power, you showed uh, your heart so, so far. And you think after the, the couple of scares you've had in your fight so far, you've got the W every time, you might get a bit of an easy one, but you're not. Yeah, I mean, another 50-50 this week. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is, this, is, this is how we're moving and this is how Skill Challenge and Prince Khalid are moving me. This is how Saudi Arabia want to see me be that flag bearer. Is it a lot of pressure? Of course, but the more pressure there is, the bigger the privileges are. And the, you want to fight on the big cards, you want to do it in front of the larger audiences in Poland, in London, then you have to do it this way, you know? And uh, like I said, I wish to be prepared most for what is written, not to have what I want, because sometimes what is written is better than what we want. We just don't see it in the beginning. So this is what I'm, this is what I'm ready for. I, I'm just calm because I know I've put in the work and my job is to now be mentally prepared to deliver physically 100% because the physical part is done. It was done in camp. Now it's about managing it mentally. And like you said, you know, I feel like we are seeing a multi-generational story happening right now. I feel like this is a multi-generational figure that we could see the build up to where you are seeing that story that is larger than life, larger than boxing with everything happening in Saudi Arabia, a history-making athlete for a history-making country in a history-making time, you know, for the country and for me. And so it's just a huge blessing. But at the same time, I chose to have that weight on my shoulder. And now it's up to me to pick if that weight will keep me down or will I use it to fly back up, you know what I mean? I definitely do, man. You, you you get me lost in your amazing quotes and uh, <laughs> uh, analogies that you put out there. You know the one that you know I was how we do it. You that's know how it. We do the it. one I was thinking about is bigger the pressure, the bigger um, bigger the uh, what you said now. But it was, it was you put it together beautifully. Yeah. Uh, in fact, funnily enough, my wife's a big fan because she watched a couple of your videos on Instagram. She oh, like man, she thought I you was like that. a professor or something. I know this guy. <laughs> this guy's a boxer. You know that that's the main goal. That's the main goal. You know, boxing is a means of getting to the people and helping as many people that I can if I share 100% of my story and not many people can relate 100% but if I could only use if I could only have people use 5% of what I went through to get them 100% through what they have went to that's what the purpose the purpose in life when you go through difficulties and struggles 
is found in helping others go through their own difficulties and struggles that might be similar to yours. And that's what I say when people ask me, what are your dreams? I tell them, I know my dreams, I have my own dreams, but the bigger dream is to see the dreams of the athletes and boxers coming from Saudi Arabia who are going to come after me and the Arab world who are going to come after me is to see their dreams come true easier than I had mine come true. Being the first to do something, you'll be the first to make a lot of mistakes. And my job is to have athletes and boxers come from Saudi Arabia and the Arab world do it easier than I did and that will make them do it better than I did, make uh, d cause disruption even more than I am, you know? So that's the, that's the bigger goal, that's the bigger purpose. But again, you know, we are on the road to be the first and cement our names in history and so much, inshallah, God willing, I'm able and capable of doing that when the time comes for it. Definitely. So you, you're probably the first Saudi Arabian to fight in Poland as well, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, congratulations that. So um, just tell the fans what can they expect on Saturday night uh, compared to what you showed last time. Yeah, look, <coughs> they can expect improvements. They can expect a better Zizo every single fight. The best version of Zizo will always come in the fight I have lined up next. So never think that you've seen the best of me or you've seen uh, everything that I have because there's always room to be better. There's always room to become the best version of yourself. This next fight you're going to see a better version, uh, an improved version and someone like you said, you know, the amateur experience is faded but that's because of the background and, and where I was brought up, it's nothing I can control. You know, you can't control what happens to you. You can only control how you react to it. And my job is to react to it the way I was just brought up. No excuses and use what I have and what I was given to make the most out of it. So I'm learning on the job. I'm improving. I'm getting better. But the good thing that I want to say that you could expect from me fight night is you get to witness history being set and people getting slept. Boom. It's a brilliant quote to end on. Uh, Ziad, I wish you all the best and uh, let's see what country we end up in next. Hopefully Saudi on a big card yes. like maybe Wilder Josh yes. or something like that. I want to come back home. I want to fight back home, you know, but for now we're flying under the radar and let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make that statement and win over as many fans as we can. God willing, man. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.